what's up YouTube? Today I have three exercises to help you with your low back pain. All you're going to need is a mat and a stability ball. Grab all your tools, let's get busy. Alright, now that you have all of your tools, let's start with the first one, the dead bug. Now I have some earlier videos on the dead bug if you don't want to use the ball. So lay on down, bend your knees, place your ball right in front of your knees. You're physically pressing with your hand forward and bringing your knees toward your hand. So both hands on here. Make sure your legs are hip over knee and then knee to ankle on the alignment. Push the ball toward your knees and release your left leg bent and your right arm. Now bring it right back up. Push and reach. Now if you sit all day and your, your back is just aching and you've got like chronic low back pain, quit doing those crunches and switch over to this. It's much easier for you and it's better for your back. There's nothing worse than doing exercise that makes your pain worse the next day. One more. I wouldn't be a very good trainer if I didn't show you these. And done. Now, if that was easy, go ahead and straighten your legs. And then again, push the ball toward your shins, right arm, left leg, and reach. Now, these are a little harder because you have a longer lever. And you can always move the ball on your knee again if you want to reach it a little bit lower. I'm going to leave mine on my shin. You can easily do two sets of 10. Start small, that's five on each leg. And you work your way up to 20. So you got 10 on each leg. And push. One more to each side. Push that hand toward that shin. And release. The next one is shoulder bridge. Now that comes from Pilates. I have some earlier videos on that as well. I'll link up at the end if you want to do it with no equipment. So your standard shoulder bridge, your hands are long, your feet are on the ball. Find that balance point to where your ball is not shifting from side to side. Inhale, press up. Now, here's the tricky part. Keep the ball still, raise your hands up. Raise your hands down five times. You feel your butt fire up yet? I sure do. And then if that ball is moving all over, just put your butt down in between and reset. One more. Lower the hands, lower the butt, and you are done with those. Come back up put my ball back on my little holder so it doesn't run away. So hey, thanks for stopping by today. Hopefully those three exercises will help you in your exercise program so it'll decrease your back pain. It's just teaching your body a new way to move and do core exercises that does good for your body instead of causing it harm. Hey, if you like the channel, hit that red subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new workouts. Until next time, we'll see you on your mat. Bye.